Greetings, this is Frosty Thundertrod. Today I am going to be delving back into Baldur's Gate 3, doing an honor mode playthrough of a Githyanki cleric. This is my character right here in front of me. I've already set him up. Githyanki cleric. I went with the uh, nature's domain. Uh, my deity is Kelimvor. Um, Kelimvor's actual um, domains are death and grave. Neither one of which are in grave, are in game. But he also says that death is a natural part of life and it should not be feared. So he was a warrior in life. So um, basically, I only see nature, which is kind of a stretch, and uh, war has his possible domains in game. But since my character in Baldur's Gate One and Baldur's Gate Two was a ranger cleric, I go I went ahead with uh, nature. That way, it's more in line with my BG One and BG Two characters. Already went through and customized my appearance. Alright, my name is Frosty. Go ahead and use my full name for a change. You need a guardian. Choose one. I don't care what my guardian looks like, so I'm just going to randomize until I get some... No, that kind of works. Oops, hit the button again. Keep hitting the button until I see something that's okay. Hmm. Yeah, she looks preachy. You. <laughs> now that. Is something that you'd wake up the next two after a long night of drinking. That might be fun. Hmm. I like that one. blood in your head thrums and pounds. That pounding blood obscures who you are. An overwhelming loss of memory. How you ended up amidst these hellish flames is just as hidden. You have nothing in your skull, besides your name and a headache. But you are in danger. I take a deep breath, shake my head, and start anew. Time to get out of here. And then you can shed light on the dark of the matter of yourself. Finally free. I must find my kin. As far as I'm concerned, Frosty doesn't actually know much of anything about the Githyanki. use my Githyanki astral knowledge to give myself proficiency in all intelligence uh, skill checks. This is the pool it came from. The Geich parasite that has violated your mind. Investigate the pool. See, it gives me proficiency in investigation and uh, guidance. With this and my chosen... Ah, that was close. You notice nothing more than meets the eye. Hmm. 
knew that was going to happen, but still had to do it. With haste. Completely explore this room. You know, heal myself nothing. up. Nothing more to get up here. These chests up here are random. Be nice if I could find a club or a quarter staff. Images of goblins, their habits and histories flash into your mind. A thousand years of humanoid history, elves, dwarves, humans and more flash behind your eyes. to save us from this place. From this place you'll free us. The exposed brain quivers in expectation. You realize you're talking to an intellect devourer, a minion of the mind flayers who abducted you. Please, before they return. They return. Let's see if I can get some information out of it. The enemy. So many enemies. Remove us from this body. From this case. Free us. Please. Investigate. Yeah, I think I should just kill it.
That's kind of gross. Nothing more to do in this room. Move on. Well, she certainly knows how to make an entrance. Your head throbs and your skin tingles. Visions rush past. A dragon's wing, a silver sword, and a flash of your face seen through the gith's eyes. Oh. <sighs> My head. What is this? <sighs> Squaw. You are no thrall. Blackith blesses me this day. Together, we might survive. What made you think I was a thrall? Have you forgotten yourself? Unless we escape, unless we are cleansed, our bodies and minds will be tainted and twisted. Within days, we will be gay. Mind flayers. Yeah. We are turning into mind flayers, so must be something we can do. We can do nothing until we escape. That must be our priority. Hmm. First, we exterminate the imps. Then we find the helm and take control of the ship. We will address the matter of a cure for this infection once we reach the material plane. Sounds good enough to me. Good hit. I think she can finish him off with this. Yep. I won't give in. All right. So my that's eighty percent chance. I don't want to use any of my level one spells. But how about a cantrip? I don't have the right cantrips equipped. So I guess I'm going to whack them with my mace. <laughs> Miss. Did you do that? Behold the dance of death. Me, on the other hand, uh, not so much. I hit him that time. Let my name be known. You prove surprisingly adequate in battle. I won't exactly call that adequate. No traps, please. Scimitar. I don't want no skull. One day I'll catch a break. Mm -hmm. 
Light crossbow. Another crossbow. Dead thrall up here. Really do need a club or a quarter staff. Another hand axe. Short sword. A single gold coin, that's all was in there. Probably the best thing to do, spare, put them out of their misery. Plus, it looks like they're trying to do something with them, so. Since I can't rescue them, it's probably best to just put an end to them. Critical hit. Seriously. Finally! Someone alive in there, but nothing I can really do to get him out. Ah, another one of those weird brain things. A key. really late at night, so I'm probably not going to finish the not late in this video. Slave mind. A brain in a jar. But for what? Dazed woman is trapped inside the pod. She doesn't notice you. As you place your hand on the pod, you hear something. A presence connected to the pod, commanding the person inside to change. Surprising. Must not be our fate. I think that's how that worked. Newborn mind flayer stares at you, weak and dazed. After a way can get in there and kill him, can I smash the pod? No, I can't. Newborn mind flayer stares yeah. at you, weak and. Looks like it's stuck with him. All right. Appears dormant. The console hums to life. But what 
accomplish its purpose? Will it free the captive or transform her like that other unfortunate? Knowledge Arcana check. All right, got this one finally. The pulsing glow and organic lines of the device make it seem more like a beating heart than a machine. This device is different from the one that caused the other captive to transform. Perhaps it will open the nearby pod. Mm. Let's find out. Yeah, no. Suddenly you feel a hideous squirming in your head. Kelmvar knows I couldn't stand still being locked inside my pod, so... ...and another sensation washes over you. Connection. Authority. When she proves hostile, it just gives me an excuse to kill her and take her stuff. your command and yield to it a shiver runs across your mind you feel sated I'm going to avoid this subject since I don't know much about myself as a gith. Did you feel that? We were in each other's heads. It must be because of those parasites they put in us. We need to deal with that. First, we have to get off this thing. Let's join up. All right, come with me then. One moment. Alright. Yeah, it's obviously important to her. She's being secretive about it, so I don't care. Let's go. Finally. Let us make for the hell. We've wasted enough time already. She's right. Lead on. What's over this way, anyway? Anything interesting? No, don't look like it. I think that was the way I came in. Little healer thing here right at the end. We are nearing the hell. Once inside, do as I say. Who put you in charge? I'll trust my own judgment. Kane Yank. Hmm. Seems simple enough. Alright. 
That was a good hit, Shadow Heart. Another short sword. Light crossbow. Victory awaits. Right. You bow, or you Take care of that hell's boar, please. Oh, you missed. At least it's some damage. Alright, that's this one destroyed. Yeah, intellect of ours don't have anything on them. Can't say I'm exactly surprised. Wonder if the gods are watching me. I bet you that mind flayer would do a lot better if I disarm this devil. Yeah, that worked. Check a potion. No, I don't care about the devil. I just want his sword. crossbow for all that might be useful Zell can take a potion. She did a good job on that hills bore. Mm. 
Light on my feet. Reinforcements. Come a little closer. But I'm not going to stick around for them. I'm fading fast here, so let's get this over with so I can go to sleep. <laughs> My character is fading fast too, but different type of fading fast. dead. Another hand axe. Oh, the mind player said, what a shame. Don't know the feather fall spell. This is bad.
Taken out by a piece of meat. Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, that seems to have been psionics that kept me from hitting the ground too hard, but who would do that? Maybe my worm did it to preserve itself. You half expected your memories to return once you were free of the Mind Flayer ship. But your past is still an aching void. If you don't find a way to remove the tadpole burrowed in your brain soon, your future will be as blank as your past. Your head whispers vengeance. You cannot wait to slice your way forth, seeking whatever wrought this tragedy upon you. Well, I'm going to end this right here. Thank you very much for watching.